Now for this year's National Gold Banner Team, an incredible group from Greenville, South Carolina. Their service project was personal after their community lost a recent graduate to suicide. They focused their service efforts on mental health. Take a look. This year, our focus was on promoting positive mental health strategies. We wanted our peers to understand that they are not alone. One in five people are experiencing mental health issues right now in this country. Mental health is essential for the development and realization of every person's bright future. This is remembrance of losing him. At his funeral, there was a newfound awareness around those closest to him about his suffering, depression, anxiety, self-harm, and suicide. Every student on our team knows at least one young person that has taken their life due to one of the following. But there are still so many more fighting and struggling to make it through each day. Losing someone to suicide is heartbreaking. The death not only affects their family, but also everyone they knew. I have experienced losing someone very close to me and it truly changed me. Our team addressed mental health and suicide because it affects everyone. It was a message that needed to be heard, and that was our goal. Our team wanted students to know that there's help out there and that it's okay to ask for it. We wanted to stop the stigma by hosting the Treat Yourself 2020 conference. We invited 21 diverse community members from a variety of occupations to come and speak with the students. Each of these adults had overcome different obstacles as they grew up. Depression, anxiety, poverty, discrimination, just to name a few. Students were able to recognize themselves in these adults and through their conversations receive advice and encouragement that they could succeed as well. Overall, reflecting on the past year of service, our goal as a team was to be those people in our schools that other students could turn to if they needed help. By hosting the Treat Yourself 2020 conference, we overcame the differences between us and became a family. But more importantly, we fundamentally rejected the idea that teenagers can't do anything because they're teenagers. A small group of students can make a big impact on their community. We became the change we wanted to see in the world, and in turn, we became students in action.